What's up? Uh, today we're going to look at the Once Upon a Time as performed by Dex Romweber. I will leave the reference performance in the description, you know, a link to it, as well as a link to the tab and a link to the Guitar Pro tab, just in case you have a Guitar Pro, you can use that. You know, Once Upon a Time is a standard, it was done by Frank Sinatra, Robert Goulet, uh, Tony Bennett, you know, amongst, you know, a, a, a lot of people performed it, it really was a standard, and, you know, as we all know, Dexter was, um, he play, he played a lot. Of, he uh, he had a lot of songs in his heart, right? Like he just knew. You know, he was a songbook. You know, and that's what made him great. And um, let me just get into the song a little bit, and I might do a playthrough after I talk about the song a bit. But um, just a few things. The song starts. The, the song is an A. And the intro. <laughs> The intro is just an A with downstrokes. For I believe most of the song, he he just plays downstrokes. All the verses are the same chords. The bridge has the same chords. The only difference is in the end of the of, of the second verse. He goes from an A. And he puts his thumb here on the sixth string of the second fret. And that becomes an F sharp, a minor seventh, which then leads to the, like that, that bridge part. Anyway, let me just do the verse first. So the verse, so, so you know, as I said, the intro's in A. Excuse me, I've been really sick, and I, uh, you know, I'm I'm sucking out of holes here. I can't sleep. I I just can't sleep. Um, so so it's in A. And then the verse goes. He has that that he has that you know F sharp you know minor chord. When he changes, you'll see it in, in the tab. And a lot of his you know what I've learned about in his music is um, he likes to like have a chord and just and move that chord so it'll go from like an F sharp minor to, to to an F sharp I believe in this case uh it's an F sharp I'm um, add nine chord so he's always moving like at times he'll just move that chord or that what is it called the inter um just it just or he'll go like E to E sixth to E seventh to take the moving E E six he does that a lot he also he does that in this song as well but that was the first verse then the second verse um if I can remember the second verse you know it's the same again it's
which is going to lead to the bridge part. Uh, just in, in, um, in that second verse, I want to talk about this chord here he uses. It's a C sharp. It's a C sharp chord, right? Which he's going to like. Dex does a lot. He's going to use in different positions throughout the song. Um, sometimes I don't. From what I think, I don't really think he's necessarily thinking about where he's going to play the chord. He, you know, that's why I always say, even though we have the tablature, play it as loosely as you can. Don't be so strict on playing exactly where he played the chord because at the end of the day. He would probably change the way he played it anyway. But that's that C sharp in the verse is basically like a discord. Yeah, it's C sharp here. Okay. But he just plays these top strings. I just try to hit these two strings here, uh, the fifth and the fourth, because it's so quick. Um, so it doesn't really matter if you really get this note. You could play the whole, uh, or you could finger the whole chord. But once again, the transition is so quick. Uh, I don't know if it's time really. You know, well maybe you you know maybe you can do it. And lastly, I want to talk about the verse. There is a chord where D, where it's played in the the same way. He plays it like this, the D. You know, he also plays it like this, like an open D. But for me, when he plays the D this way, for me at least, it just it doesn't make sense to really play it so I that way. So I played um as an open D as well. In the tablature, you'll see it as as, a she, as the C shape form D. But I play it like this because you go from like D to B minor. So for me, it's maybe for him it was simpler to just go like this than to B minor. But not for me, it's easier to just go from D to B minor. And so for this song, it doesn't it doesn't really matter, you know. So then we go to, um, as, you know that that bridge part, you know, uh, which is uh, okay, well, yeah, which is how. Once again, there is D to A7. Here, oh, as though tomorrow that to see sharp seventh wasn't there. We were young, didn't have D. Look okay. A7, B7, where? Did it go? E, E6, E7. Remember those chords that move. Which gives the song a real dreamy feel. Um, in the last time he does that, how how the breeze shuffles through her hair. The last time he he does that, he plays um, what I recall like this little riff. You know, once again, it was probably spontaneously done at the at the moment you don't always it, so instead of instead of the seventh he, he'll, he'll play it twice 
Then you play zero, two, zero, one into the B seven. Okay. Um, this is the you'll see it at the tab. It's um, it's it's a measure sixty. Okay. He does it in the song. Then, which leads to the B7 to the E, E6, E7. He does that, you know, in the last, I guess it's the second time he goes into that bridge, which is the last time he goes into that bridge. So it's like. You don't have to do that. You can just go to the E7, to the B7. But, he, you know, once again, he, if he would play it again, he would have played it differently. You know, he always played everything. He, the structure of the chords are there, but there's always little things that he would change in every song. But for this version, he does do that for the 7th. You'll see it in measure 60. And uh, basically, like, that's the whole song. Uh, so, in the last verse, it'll be like... What's the last verse again? It's a, it's once again the same chord. Uh, what is? This? Let me see how that last. Just the lyrics. I get it. The hardest part for me for this song has been the lyrics. I just I forget them and I'm I kind of get lost. Okay, yeah. Once upon once upon a time, the world was sweeter than we knew. So in the last verse is. Again, but somehow once upon a time, comes again. so in the, in the last verse, he just repeats it in the last line. So that's where there's a little of a difference because you know, you know, once again, that last verse would be once upon a time. So far normal, no as it goes, then be mine. Was that C sharp, that weird C sharp. Was once upon a time, now the day is gone. But that was, but that was, was once, but that with A and it just keeps droning on the A uh, so in that last verse it was just um, when he goes to that A he goes back to the F sharp <clears throat> excuse me minor chord once up once up And then again, he just repeats that line in the chords. And that was once a uh, F sharp minor upon a time. A time, D, now the days come. I mean, that's the whole song. Everything is written out in the tab, in the guitar pro tab as well. I'm trying to think if there's something else that's really um, important. You know that really, I should I should talk about, but not really. I mean, everything's self-explanatory in the tab. You know, you got two verses and that bridge. Uh, you got. 
I gotta look at the lyrics in order to remember everything. Yeah, you got the verse, verse, the bridge, verse again, then that final bridge with the... to that final verse, okay, um, I might even put the lyrics in the description, because I, uh, you know, I always find it easier to, as I use the lyrics sometimes as a landmark, just to remind me, like, what's the next, you know, what's the next step, what's the next progression, even though the progression is the same, the, the lyrics sometimes do help, especially with this song, it has some trouble remembering some things so I have to reference it right now um that's it you know uh you know we lost we lost Dex and you know it sucks but um you know there's a lifetime of his music to learn you know I wish there would have been more but you know, we will, um, you know, his music is left and, and we can learn that, you know, so this is a song that he, he loved, actually, he, I remember one of his performances, he, he was listening, um, um, to Robert Goulet, and I believe he was listening to this song in one of his live June performances, so, anyway, good luck, if you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments, and, I'll try to respond, okay? Alright, good luck. Alright, take care, guys. Bye bye. This is Kid Jess. I hope you like it. Here we go. Yeah. Oh